In the last lecture, we created an express application which is listening to incoming requests on port number 3000. Now, before we move further in this course, in this lecture, I will show you how you can create and use environment variables in your Node.js project. But before that, what I'm going to do is, since now this server.js is the main entry point of our Node.js application, in the package.json, I'm going to change this main property from app.js to server.js. And let's save this package.json file. Let me also go ahead and let me close this file. And let's also close this app.js file. All right. Now, the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a config file. And in that config file, we are going to create all our environment variables, which we want to use in our application. So in the root folder, in the project folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it as config.env. Okay. So the file extension is going to be env. And inside this config.env file, you can create all your environment variables. Currently, I'm going to create one environment variable, which is this port underscore number. And I'm going to assign it with the value 3000. So we want to use this 3000 as the port number for our application. Let me save this file. Now what I want is I want to use this port number environment variable, which we have created inside this config.env in this server.js. So here I want to set this port to the value which is assigned to this port number environment variable. Now, in order to use this environment variable, we need to install a package in our Node.js application. For that, I'm going to open VS Code built-in terminal. And in here, from NPM, we are going to install a package and the name of the package is .env. So, D-O-T-E-N-V. This is the package name. Let's press enter. So, that package has been installed now. Now we are going to use that package in our server.js file because it is in this file where we want to use the environment variable. So here what we are going to do is we are going to require that package and in order to require the package again we need to use this require function. To that we need to pass the package name and the package name is .env. Okay and this here it is going to return us an object let's go ahead and let's store that object in a variable and let's call it as dot env okay you can name this variable anything but i'm calling it as dot env same as the package name and here also when we are creating this app variable instead of using let let's use const keyword and once we have required this dot env package on that dot env package we are going to call a method called config and to this we need to pass the path of the config file in our case the config file is present in the root directory so for that we'll say dot slash and then the name of the file is config.env okay now make sure that this line of code always comes before you are importing this app object so i'll cut it from here and i'll move it after this line then only everything will work properly okay and now what i want is to this port variable i want to assign the value stored in this port number environment variable and for that in order to access that port number environment variable we can access it on this process object so we can say process dot and this process object has an env property on that property we are going to access the environment variable which we want to use so in this case we want to use this port number environment variable so i'll copy it from here and let's try to access it on that environment variable okay and here we will also use this or operator so here what we are trying to say is read the value stored in this port number environment variable and whatever value is assigned to this port number environment variable assign that to this port variable but for some reason, if this port number environment variable cannot be read, in that case, we are also specifying a default value which should be assigned to this port variable. So in both cases, it is 3000. Okay. And let's save the changes now. 
and here we are also making one mistake to this config instead of passing the path directly we need to pass an object a configuration object and in there we need to specify the path and here we need to specify the path of our env file so the env file is present in the root directory and the file name is config.env okay now what this line of code will do is in the config.env file whatever environment variables we have defined that will be saved in this env property of this process object okay so here in the config.env if i change the port number to 5000 let's save the changes here and let's also save the changes in server.js let's go to terminal and you'll see that now it is listening to port number 5000 so basically the value stored in this port number environment variable is being assigned to this port variable all right and if for some reason if node.js is not able to read this value in that case this expression here it will either return null or undefined so in that case this 3000 will be assigned to this port number so in this way now we are able to read an environment variable which we have defined inside this config.env file in our server.js file and in our coming lectures we are going to define some more environment variables in this config.env files this is just an example which i wanted to show here this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day